here on number five, our number of possible x-intercepts would be four. So let's see if that is truly the case, because sometimes our polynomials don't quite behave exactly as we were expecting them to. So x to the fourth plus x cubed minus three x squared plus three. Let's graph it. And we only have two. Okay, we only have two x-intercepts that we actually have to find. <clears throat> so that's going to be second trace. Number two is zero. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, I think I've mentioned this here before, but if you don't want to have to scroll your cursor, you can see that this x-intercept occurs very close to negative two. So for the left bound, you could type in negative three. And then for the right bound, negative two and then press enter and your zero is negative 2.104 negative 2.104 it is a point i tried to emphasize this with the rational functions but make sure that you put its y coordinate as zero now notice you may say well it doesn't say y is zero i think i've mentioned this before as well when it's 1e negative 10, that's this calculated code doing scientific notation. That's 1 times 10 to the negative 12. That's going to stick 11 zeros in front of that number. It is 0. Okay, I promise you it's 0. Now let's find the other one. Close to negative 1 there. Uh, yeah, no, white. Oh, it is negative 1, actually. Because when I type in negative 1, it does say that y is 0. So, we do have an x-intercept of negative 1. We have a whole number x-intercept. Now, it turns out, and I believe we've discussed this, or you probably should have discussed it in Math 3, um, that if we only have two real zeros, then the other two that we're expecting are imaginary. And okay, this does have two imaginary zeros. Um, it, would be, it would take some effort to find those, but I just want to throw that out. Okay, so that's x intercepts. What do we know is true about the equation of a function when it crosses the y axis? x is 0, okay? x is 0, so to find the y intercept of any function, you should plug in 0 for x. So the the x intercepts sometimes are going to take a little bit more work, but y intercepts should should be pretty straightforward and simple. And with polynomials, it is really easy because it's just going to end up being that constant on the end. Okay? Because when you plug in zero for all those other x's, it's just gone. So the y intercept of number five would be zero, three. 